Today, we're gonna to look at the most handsome and sexiest effects that you can possibly put on your melee manager. Some of them are just visual and some of them can actually change the gameplay. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. For the first one, we have the Flame Sword. This one is not only looking amazing, it also can be used for quite some cool effects. As you can see, you can also use this, for example, to light things on fire, like this. It's kind of amazing. But first things first, how to create this effect is the VFX Creator, obviously. And I'm gonna leave you every single setting on the screen right now. So everything that you need to change is on the screen, so you can just uh, easily duplicate it. And obviously the most important thing for all of these effects is that you have it on stick to body, then a spawn on a weapon, so make sure that it spawns on the sword, and also make sure that it spawns on a player. Use this setting and then use a custom channel to actually activate it on the player. But for the sword, you don't really have to change much here. Just make sure that's the same color as the flame. If you make a blue flame out of it, because you can change that obviously as well, just make sure that the sword is also blue so it looks convincing. But now, how did we make the flames? As you can see, we have two devices here which are important to create this. First things first, whatever prop you want to hit with your sword, you need a prop manipulator. So first things first, placing a prop manipulator just on, a, on any prop shouldn't be that big of a problem. I have a full video on how to use this device as well. In this device, you basically only need to change two settings. Depending on what you want to do, you basically maybe only need to change one setting. So in my case, I want to have it invulnerable, so it doesn't fully burn out and it gets destroyed. But if you want to destroy something with the flame sword, then you have to do it on like a different prop health here, obviously. But the more important setting is undamaged transmit on. This basically means that when we hit this prop, um, we send a signal. And we're gonna send a signal to, obviously, in our case, the fire volume. The fire volume can be just placed above any like prop that can burn, so any wood or anything that is like wood-like. And basically in here, same thing, all you have to do is make sure that you have allow objects to ignite to yes and put in the same channel in ignite when receiving from. And then as soon as you hit this wall, it will light on fire. This obviously works with all the weapons, so you do not really need this flame sword for this to work. But for example, if you want to create a map which only has the, the flame sword in it, this could be a very cool option. Up next, I want to create something a little bit more subtle and you can basically only see it here if you go like in a dark map or in a black wall. But it's kind of like an electricity effect, which I personally think is really cool and kind of adds a little bit of detail, but it's not too overwhelming. It's not like that it completely stands out and it kind of overwhelms the sword. And I definitely think that this effect looks the best in a dark map where you basically have no lighting whatsoever. It really gives that feeling over it. Um, but personally, I'm a big fan of this subtle one. Same thing here, all the effects are on the screen right now. And as always, make sure that you have the right attachments so it can actually spawn on your gun. So for the next one, we have the lightsaber and we already had that in the last one and we showed so many times how to do a lightsaber. I basically want to have an optimized version. So I think this one right here is literally the best one you can make the lightsaber um, effect with the VFX creator. I think it works the best. It looks really cool. It doesn't really swivel too much if you run with it. It does look like it's kind of sticking on the gun. And I think this is the best effect that you can possibly get with the VFX creator on a sword. Also make sure that the middle device has the same color as uh, the lightsaber obviously, so make sure if it's red then it obviously has to be red as well. And these are the settings. So um, it is the most optimized I could possibly find. Um, I don't think we can make it any better unless we maybe get some new like effects in here, which could lead, uh, maybe like a more rounded one for this one, could lead to having a better optimization here. But I think this is the closest lightsaber you can possibly make. Okay, so before we come to the blood one, I have a few more special effects. You can say these are like a little bit more like stylized ones. So like first of all, this one and also this one, which kind of looks like an energy light sword saber, you can say. And as you can see, if we step on here, it's also yet again like a little bit more subtle one, but I think I really like the effect of it. It kind of looks like an energy sword. Um, gives some cool vibes. Here are the settings for the yellow one. Uh, this one is the like more energy sword vibe here. And this one is the blue one. You can technically also combine these two, which uh, could create an even more artistic effect. So just make sure that they have the same color or whatever color you want. And uh, these are the ones for the more bluish one. I think just playing around with the VFX creator and putting them on your swords can just like improve your map so much. So just try to play around with these settings a little bit and maybe you can find your own cool setting. And yeah, last but not least, we have the blood dripping sword. 
This one is a little bit modified from the all blood dripping effects that we already had in the game. Um, so I modified it so it looks a little bit better on the sword. Um, but you can still use that in combination with a bunch of things. So, so for example, if we add an NPC here, for example, we can add the guard. Let's make it one guard, make it spawn instantly and only one guard spawning. And then we go down here to when eliminated transmit on. We can set that to the same channel as the, the effects spawning on our sword. So for example, this is channel 3. So this means if we now kill the NPC, the blood will spawn on our sword but we don't want this sword to drip like the entire time so what we can do here is also add another trigger which basically turns off the blood after like a few seconds so for example so what we then have to do is go into the trigger when receiving from same channel here channel 3 and then we have to use a custom channel let's use channel 500 we're gonna give it a delay of five seconds so that means basically the blood stays five seconds on our sword and we also need to make sure that the blood effect gets removed so channel 500 on the same channel and now if we start the game so you see right now we do not have blood on our sword now we go to our NPC see i'm gonna quickly kill him over here and now we can see that there's blood dripping from the sword and also in a few seconds as you can see the blood stops dripping and the sword is clean again this is basically a very cool way in how you can spice up your gameplay a little bit doesn't have to be blood obviously blood is not allowed in fortnite creative technically and um, yeah you can maybe use something else blue goo or something these are my top five easy to make um, vfx on swords and uh, yeah definitely know which one is your favorite also don't forget to check out the stream we actually did all of these on stream and uh, you guys helped me quite a bit with these so with that being said i'll see you guys back in the next video or on stream and bye